Everyone on Wall Street knows about this trading secret, but if you ask your broker or look for info about it on Investopedia, you're probably going to miss it. And it's not an indicator, a secret data feed, or a black box AI model. It's actually how the candles on your screen are sampled. The one minute candlesticks you're using to look for patterns are just a non-random snapshot and is not necessarily representative of what's actually going on in the market. If you offset the candlestick data by just 15 or 30 seconds, you can see very different patterns that don't necessarily correspond to the on the minute default candlesticks on most trading platforms. You can see this so clearly by just shifting the bars. Using real historic data for Apple, here's an example of what the minute bars would look like if offsetted for every second between 3.11 and 3.12 p.m. of a randomly chosen trading day. The size of the wicks, the height of the candles, and even the direction of the candles look radically different and tell very different stories when sampled at offsetted times. If you're using a candlestick strategy that triggers a trading decision based on the size and shape of the candles and wicks using default one minute bars, you're likely responding to noise rather than real signal, unless you also test the same setup across several offsets or sub minute bars. And here's what makes this one minute default even worse. There's no clear cut solution. Unlike daily bars for which the open high low close values for the trading day are actually meaningful, because they're tied to distinct trading sessions. One minute and even five minute bars are crude snapshots that don't take into account the volume of the trades. To better align bars with market activity, many traders switch to event-based bars. Tick charts, which print a new bar after every n number of trades, and volume charts, which print a new bar after every n number of shares contracts have changed hands, both replacing a fixed time interval with a measure of trading intensity. In fact, Many trading platforms have this as an option, but deciding the most meaningful trading interval is a subjective decision, and defaults are usually round even numbers such as 100, 500, or 1000. You might also see a random Fibonacci interval chosen, like 233. This may seem like a smart choice on the surface, but there's no actual empirical basis for why 233 is going to yield better results than 234. So if you treat one minute candles the same way you treat daily ones, remember this, each candle you see is just one out of 60 possible 60 second snapshots. Shifting the window even a few seconds on the same price tape can flip color, stretch wicks, or erase a breakout entirely. Thanks for watching. And if you found this useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for AI and data insights into quant finance.